Hey Leo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of November 12th through the 18th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the justice at the bottom of the deck, which is Libra energy. And things are looking really, really good for you, Leo. We have the star, which is Aquarius, page of swords, and the magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy. So you have a lot of air um, in your like energy here. So maybe you're dealing with an air sign, maybe a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Maybe you have some placements there. Um, honestly, Leo, though, I feel like this is about you getting karmic justice. Um, by getting something that you've always wanted and i feel like this is giving you a sense of hope i feel like this week you know you're kind of like looking to the future with this open mind and so much excitement for what's to come a lot of you could be creators or some sort of business or entrepreneur um like i feel like you're in the public eye maybe let's see let's go ahead and clarify the star All right, Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So definitely getting recognition for something um, that you have done here. I feel like whatever you do, whether it's for work or, you know, like maybe even as a hobby, I feel like it has to do with bringing things to um, other people's awareness or maybe helping others um, kind of work through things that are difficult. Like maybe you work in the health sector, maybe you work with people that have um, you know, kind of like trouble releasing things. For some reason, I feel like this is about the fact that you're getting some sort of recognition, um, like an award even, right, for something that you do very well. It's like you do something that both makes you happy, but also is, it just happens to be very significant and very helpful to others. And I feel like you are um, kind of like this symbol of the you know, like the nurturer, right? I feel like you help nurture people. You help people find certain um, strengths within themselves. And whatever it is that you're doing right now, Leo, I feel like the universe really wants to like congratulate you and then let you know that like you're going to get recognition and rewarded for that work. Um, also, there could be a personal thing that you have dealt with or that you have um, kind of seen firsthand in your life that just adds to the value of what you're doing right now. So it's kind of like the reason why you're so passionate and why you enjoy this work so much is because you know exactly what it's like or it's like you have very personal experience with this. So um, really, really um, beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and clarify the magician. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you really have... Um, kind of transformed a situation as well. It's almost like you saw something, you weren't okay with it, and you, you said, you know what, I'm not going to sit here and let that continue. I'm going to do something about it. I feel like you fought some sort of negative energy that was kind of like taking away, um, you know, the happiness from the air. Like, I feel like you just... I don't know how to explain it, but we have the Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Death, which is Scorpio energy. I feel like you kind of dealt with something firsthand, and then you chose to kind of face it and then walk away from it the moment that you realized you were done with it. So um, whether this is about a relationship or maybe even a work thing, I feel like no matter what the universe is saying, you kind of face this head on, and that has made you, um, you know, all the stronger, but really... It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like you did the impossible. And because you did the impossible, it's like you are like the perfect example for something here. It's like, I want to get specific, but I have no idea what this could be about because it's so hard to tap into something that is very unique. But honestly, Leo, I feel like the universe is saying you are the magician because you are the only one that was able to do something like this. You know, whether this is within your own personal um, you know, social circles, or maybe just in general, maybe you've accomplished something that other people would look at and say, I don't know how they did it. So Leo, honestly, I just want to say that this is very impressive. The energy is impressive. The energy is so powerful, so strong. Um, and I feel like the Ace of Swords could also be about the fact that you have finally found your calling or you finally found what it is that you want to do. It's like this situation, while it was painful or challenging, it brought some sort of um, kind of like certainty in your life and I feel like the death is about the fact that you were almost like reborn after this you have this new identity or this new 
way of seeing the world um and it's just it's just really uh breathtaking to say the least so let's go ahead and clarify the page of swords all right so we have the four of cups at the bottom of the deck and wow this is just keeps getting more and more amazing so we have the fool which is pisces the chariot which is cancer and the moon which is also pisces and technically also cancer definitely a lot of water in your um energy here as well so you could be dealing with a water sign like i said maybe a scorpio maybe a cancer a pisces the four of cups i feel like you are looking at this new chapter in your life with um, a mixture of this is different for me and i need to get used to it but then also this is very exciting so whatever you're walking into i feel like the universe is saying don't be afraid to tap into that don't be afraid to um, embrace this new chapter or the unknown right don't be afraid to put yourself in the spotlight if that's what you're doing right if this is something that you have to get out of your comfort zone in order to embrace i feel like universe is pushing you in that direction because this could be a really wonderful opportunity for you to keep doing that work or to be um you know this pillar or you know this inspiration i just feel like you're meant to be in the center of this you're meant to be heard or seen um it's just again it, i have no words to express what i'm picking up here so i really hope that you understand that basically the universe is encouraging you it's applauding you it wants to reward you and it wants to let you know that you are very special uh, because of what you've been able to endure so i feel like you're on the um i feel like you're on a quest you know it feels like a quest to maybe make something produce something uh, maybe you're an artist again maybe you have that creative vision and so you're trying to kind of manifest this project and i feel like you will achieve it but it's also about really understanding that the process itself um is really speaking to you as a whole so I don't know if this made sense, but if it did, and if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.